Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.8.2 of the MyLinuxWork.files for Hyperland is now available for you to download. And also this new version comes with a lot of new features. The first one is the support of NWG displays where you can graphically set up your monitor configuration and also your multi-monitor configuration. The next new feature is the support of power profiles if you are running Hyperland and the MyLinuxForWork.files on a laptop. In addition, the MyLinuxForWork Hyperland settings app is now available as a flat pack. That means you can install the application on all Linux distributions that are supporting Hyperland and tweak and fine tune your system with that. And at the end of the video, I want to give you a brief view of the upcoming version of the MyLinuxForWork Hyperland settings app. I'm in the middle of the planning process of the version 3 of the My Linux for Work files. I have opened a discussion on GitHub where you can share your ideas, your thoughts, what should be included in this new main milestone of this project. Looking forward to your feedback. And with that, let's jump in. The first new feature of the new version of the MyLinuxWork.files is the support of NWG displays. NWG displays, developed by Piotr Miller, um, is a GUI, a user interface, to manage your display settings. And it also supports multiple displays. You find the link of the, of the tool in the description of the video. And it also includes installation instructions. So. I will show you how you can install it on Arch Linux. I open a terminal and with sudo pacman hyphen s nwg displays, you can install it. It's already installed on my system, but I will reinstall it. And then you can start it from the application starter with by searching for displays. And you see here the display settings. Yeah. And you see already the user interface. And the most important part is, of course, here the modes, the screen resolution, but you have a lot of more possibilities to adjust, including the zoom factor. Um, you can manage multiple displays. So a very powerful tool. When you apply the settings, I keep it, but nothing has changed because you have to enable the NWG displays support for the dot files. Let's close it for now. And I want to show you where NW displays stores the configuration. It stores the configuration in the config folder and in the hyper folder. And you see here the monitors.conf. Let's open that. And you see here the display settings from NWG displays generated in the format that Hyperland can read. If you want to enable this configuration and use then NWG displays in the future for your monitor configuration, you have to open the My Linux for Work settings app. Click here on settings, go to system, scroll down and search for the monitor variations. And here you will see at the bottom of the list nwgdisplays.conf. If you enable that, you can manage your monitor configurations directly from NWG displays. And I hope this helps a lot, uh, especially if you're using multiple monitor setups. Give it a try and please share your feedback on GitHub. The next new feature is a new key binding to manage your windows that are open in your workspace. This is Nautilus, the file manager, and I will open now a terminal and another terminal with the super key, alternative key and the arrow keys. You can now swap between the position of the windows. So the window on the right side is activated and with left arrow key, left arrow key, I can move it to the left and back with the right arrow key. So it's, a, I think, a very smart way to um, 
rearrange the current window layout of your current workspace. In the status bar, you will find a new icon if you are using the dot files on a laptop. Here you see the new icon and this is the icon to select the power profile for your computer. This is the balanced mode and if you click on that icon you can switch to the performance mode and to the economic mode, to the power saver mode. So I hope this is helpful for laptop users to manage your power consumption. And when you click again, you are in the balance mode. The Hyperland settings app is now available as a flat pack. That means you can install the Hyperland settings app on all Linux distributions. So everywhere where you can install Hyperland as a tiling window manager, you can also now use the My Linux for Work Hyperland settings app to tweak selected settings of your Hyperland installation. Yeah, and it's very easy to use. You have here the requirements. You have to install Flatback first, and then you can install the application with this single command. It will install the um, runtime for Flatpak and then install the app itself. And then you can run the application here or you can run the application from the application starter. Yeah, if you have an application starter installed. Yeah, and with that app, you know, you can tweak easily detailed settings of your Hyperland installation. Yeah, for example, to remove all borders to um, set the active window opacity. Yeah, you can set the inactive window opacity and so on. So a lot of possibilities are here. And I was able to install the Hyperland settings app already on OpenSUSE successfully. And this is what I will cover in one of the next videos. The MyLinuxWork.Files also now supports Hyperland with UWSM. This is the recommended method to launch Hyperland on systemd-based distos. Yeah? And this method brings additional features, for example, XDG auto start support, uh, launching any application as a systemd unit, and so on and so on. The dot files will install on Arch UWSM by default, on Fedora, you have to install it manually, but if it's available, you can select the, the UWSM managed session in SDDM, here in the Sequoia theme, here in the session selector, directly here, Hyperland UWSM managed. More information about this launch method you can find here in the Hyperland wiki. As always, you can find all information about the new version of the MyLinuxWork.Files on GitHub. Link is in the description below. And if you scroll down, you see here the installation commands for Arch Linux and for Fedora. And in the top navigation, you see here the wiki and also here a lot of information available for you to customize the dot files to your personal leads, uh, describing all settings that you can do with the systems, introducing the included apps and so on and so on. As always, as promised at the beginning, I want to give you a preview of the upcoming MyLinuxWork Hyperland settings app. You see, I'm here in GNOME Builder and I'm working on a new version. And this new version will support not only selected variables yeah, of Hyperland, it also now supports all available variables. And the new version will come with a new user interface and you can create your favorite variables here in that list. And if you want to access all variables, you can click here this button and a new window will pop up and then you can search for example, for border and you get all border variables. You can select it and if you want to, you can test it here. 
you can test all settings here. And if you want to add this to your favorite variables, you can just click on add and it will appear here on your favorite list. So I think a nice addition uh, in case of functionalities and features and power of that platform and, and power of that tool. And I'm also planning to release it as a flat pack on flat hub. So which makes it even easier to install it and use it on your Hyperland system. I'm still working on the user interface. I'm tweaking a bit on, on the functionalities. So it will still take some more weeks before the official release, but I wanted to give you an early preview on that. And that's it for today. A lot of new features are included in the new version of the MyLinuxWork.files files and a lot more will come. Stay tuned, follow this channel and see you next time.